Hello everyone, we hope that you're doing good right. My name is Mohamed Sultani and my name is Sanaz Ghulami and welcome to our video on how a new environment can be created in Katia. As you know, Katia is a cat software which due to having a variety of environments and tools is used in different industries. One of the advantages of this software is its potential to be personalized and specialized which is possible by a number of different tools such as UDF, Power Copy, BKT, EKL, Visual Basic for Applications and Component Application Architecture. CAA is one of the most comprehensive tools in this field which enables us to fundamentally change CATIA using C++ programming, changes that are impossible to bring about through other methods. For example, creating a whole new environment, tying them to existing workspaces, placing them under current CATIA workshops, creating menus and new toolbars and commands, personalizing the specification tree, and etc. We present our project here, which has been created using CAA in order to showcase the capabilities of CAA. Running this environment is possible through DLL files and .exe executable files based on what's needed. Based on the type of the created environment, we can place it under pre-existing CATIA workshops like infrastructure or mechanical design. Also, we can add this new environment to the welcome window and CATIA favorite environments. We can choose an icon for the environment we've created. We can create a toolbars and show or hide them with wholly new commands or with uh, the one already provided by Katia. But that's not all. The created environment follows Katia's template to a T, whereas recreating a 100 person replica through other means is a difficult and time-consuming task. In this dialog window, by selecting from the list standard shoes for single action or double action draw processes and trim flange blank procedures is created. Here we have used icons and commands that are used by Katia itself but it's possible to choose different icons for the specification tree or not show them at all. Parameters can be logged for read-only use through CAA, and the end user won't be able to unlock them. Also, all the knowledge work commands can be used and integrated as well. Some of CA's many capabilities are that it's possible to control how the graphical representation are shown and that the views and the pure uh, view of the camera can be changed. However, working with CAA has its own difficulties and complexities, some of which are the need to procure a RAID and a Visual Studio license mastery in CATIA and C++ programming, and that there are limited online resources on CAA. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like it or find it interesting, we'd be grateful if you'd be so kind as to support us with your likes.